Christmas tree. I'm so excited. Miss Fine, what on earth are you doing? I'm putting on a tinsel. <gasps> Not before the lights. <laughs> is that a faux pas? Lights first, ornament second, and tinsel is always last. Father's very anal about his tree trimming. <laughs> Well, one year, we begged my mother for a Christmas tree. She called it a Hanukkah bush. P.S. The candles from the menorah set the flocking on fire, and the fumes put my father into the emergency room. <laughs> Variation on the burning bush classic. <laughs> my mother took the whole thing as a sign from God, and from there on in, we spent every Christmas at the Fountain Blue in Miami Beach. <laughs> to this day, I can't get a whiff of Band Soleil without having a yen for eggnog. Is that... Oh, Niles, splendid. Thank you very much. All right, everyone, stand by. Three, two, one. Oh! Yeah. Niles, I, I thought we agreed twinkle lights. Here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Fine, I, I know it's a holiday and this is a bit of an imposition, but um, would it be at all possible for you to work on Christmas Day? Oh, are you kidding? To be part of a real Christmas is a dream come true. You see, I'm going to be in D.C. I'm producing a benefit at the Kennedy Center. You won't be home for Christmas? He's never home for Christmas. Oh, now, Grace, we've been through all this. I'm going to be raising money for children less fortunate than we are. Yeah, but keep blaming the guilt. We'll get better presents. <laughs> Brighton, I'm not cancelling it altogether. We'll simply celebrate it a day early. He's moving Christmas? You can do that? I only do it for Washington's birthday. Well, I never got that either. I mean, you got to all that trouble fathering a nation, and before you know it, you share in the third Monday in February with Lincoln and a white sail. <laughs> Say, I know, why don't we make out our list for Santa, and then we could bring it to him when we go get our picture taken. We already did that. Yeah, but I came out a little bloated. <laughs> Isn't that cute? She still believes in Santa. Honey, I believe in anyone that delivers. <laughs> yeah, well, we believe in Edna. Edna Claus? Would that be the missus? <laughs> no, friend. She's Daddy's personal shopper. She buys all our gifts. Oh, so what you're saying is you give Edna your list and she gives it to Santa. Please, Fran, I wasn't born yesterday. <laughs> if you did believe in Santa, what would you want him to bring you? Daddy for Christmas. Aww. Well, how about a nice, easy bake oven? <laughs> no? All right, I'll see what I can do. Oh, Niles, mm. those poor kids. And that Gracie is the Auntie Claus. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go talk to Mr. Sheffield. Well, I hope you're not going to upset him. He's writing out the staff Christmas bonuses. Oh, how do you know? Well, did you think the keyholes polished themselves? <laughs> So the nanny gets a bonus, too? Oh, that's good news, because, you know, I really wanted to buy each of the kids something fabulous, but have you seen the cost of fabulous nowadays? Please. I can't even afford wonderful. <laughs> Fortunately, Mr. Sheffield is very generous. Well, if he thinks that writing a check is going to make up for his not being here... Four figures, Miss Fine. Oh, well, glory to the newborn king. <laughs> What I'm standing under. Isn't that mistletoe? I'm not sure. Looks rather like holly. It's mistletoe. <laughs> and I do believe tradition calls for a kiss. All right. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Nanny Fine. Whoops, I got some lipstick on your cheek. Oh, for heaven's sake. Meanwhile, that shade looks gorgeous on you. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Sheffield, do you really have to go out of town for the holidays? Yes, he does. I love the way you throw your voice like that. <laughs> I'm afraid I have to, Miss Fine. It's a very important benefit. We're raising money for the... Who are we raising money for? The poor, right? <laughs> Miss Fine, I'd love to be with a family Christmas Day, but I'm afraid I just can't. We can't. You're going to? Uh-huh. But we'll be working the entire time. Well, I think we'll have time for dinners. No, no dinner. <laughs> the only reason I'm going away with Miss Babcock is for charity. Thank you, Maxwell. <laughs> well.